Have you ever wanted to start a business or launch a product that you're really excited about, but then all of a sudden this nagging little voice in your head says, no one is going to buy this. There are a million other things just like it out there on the market. Been there, done that, a lot. In fact, this is one of my favorite things to talk about because I've been in this exact situation and gotten myself out of it. Hi, I'm Erin and on this channel, I help you build your confidence so you can be bold in your business and your life. I've shared with you before how I started my photography business in Denver, which at the time had the most photographers per square foot of any city in the United States. I very easily could have decided not to even start my business because of this. Luckily, I didn't know any better back then and I at least got going, but it wasn't long before I started to look around and question my sanity. There were literally thousands of photographers in my state, so I had to think fast. Today, I wanna to share with you four things I did to bust through that oversaturated market mindset and surpass all my competition. Tip number one is to remember you are your brand. I know I talk about this a lot, but it is so important. This is what's going to set you apart from all the other thousands of coaches, nail technicians, oil representatives, whatever it is. No matter what you do, there are going to be multiple people doing the exact same thing. The one thing no one can ever copy from you is your personality, your stories, how you relate to people, and your experiences. So be sure to make all of those things part of your brand and business. And if you aren't sure how make sure you go check out all the other videos I've done on this topic, and there are quite a few. Tip number two is to think of some ways to differentiate your product and services through your offerings and add-ons. For example, you might sell the exact same makeup as thousands of other people, but you can customize the packaging you put it in or maybe include a cute free gift like a headband or a bracelet. Maybe you have an info product that is very similar to several other people's, but if you delivered a personal video thanking them for joining or maybe sent them a branded t-shirt to make them feel like part of the group, you would really be setting yourself apart. Even though I'm a portrait photographer, I offer an experience like no other, including professional hair and makeup, a glass of champagne, snacks, and even a customized playlist to really make their experience special. I want my clients to not only love their images, but also remember the shoot as an amazing experience that they'll never forget. Tip number three is to remember you're not going to be for everyone and that's totally okay. It's actually a good thing to have competitors because that means you can work with only the people you wanna work with and everyone else has somewhere else to go. If you look at competition that way, it's really freeing and it allows you to pass on jobs that just aren't for you. And doing that will keep your schedule open for people who really wanna work with you and value what you have to offer above the competition. This means all of your clients will be your ideal clients. Tip number four is take a good look at the competition and find the gap. What is missing or can be done differently that would really set you apart and allow you to offer something that no one else does? When I first moved from Denver to Boise, there was no one offering a luxury branding experience and that really allowed me to find my niche and set myself apart from all the photographers out here. Sure, there are other branding photographers out here, but they don't offer the luxurious experience that I do or have the extensive marketing background that I have. Both of these things allow me to provide my clients with images that they didn't even know they were going to need. So find that gap and fill it in. Simply shifting the way you look at your competition is going to be huge for your mindset and your success as you continue to grow your business. Remember, no matter how saturated it might be, you're the only you and that's what sets you apart. If you need a little more help with this, be sure to check out my video from last week on how to get over feeling like a fraud. Then make sure you subscribe to this channel because I have even more videos to help you be confident in your business and your life.